In this video, we present a distributed reconfiguration planning algorithm for modular robots. This work was done by Chow Liu, Michael Weitzer, and Mark Yim. SMORS EP is a modular robotic system developed by the Mod Lab. Each module has four degrees of freedom and four connectors. Two modules can be connected in 17 different ways. Its reconfiguration ability has been demonstrated in our previous work and is shown here. The reconfiguration planning problem focuses on finding a sequence of reconfiguration actions to convert a robotic system from its initial configuration to a goal configuration. For example, we want to find a sequence of undocking and docking actions between modules to convert a walker into a vehicle with an arm. We use a graph to represent a modular robot configuration, and using our previous work, we can find the root module of a given configuration in linear time. Given two configurations, the maximum common subconfiguration with respect to a pair of modules can be computed in quadratic time. For example, if module 1 on the left has to be mapped to module 1 on the right, then the subconfiguration encircled by the red line is the maximum common subconfiguration, and the mappings are 2 on the left to 0 on the right, and 0 on the left to 2 on the right. Using this computation, we develop a configuration decomposition method. For example, the root module on the left is module 1, and the root module on the right is also module 1. Given module 1 mapped to module 1, the maximum common subconfiguration is encircled by the red line, and the mapping is 1 to 1 and 3 to 8. We then replace the maximum common subconfiguration with virtual modules and virtual connections. The configuration decomposition is then done again with respect to virtual module pairs to map more modules. This process is repeated until all modules are mapped. The reconfiguration actions can then be computed and executed by the hardware accordingly. Now we will show our hardware demonstration. The first part of the demonstration shows how side face docking can be accomplished. In order to change the orientation of the left face of the connecting module, a helper module is able to dock to the connecting module and lift it off the ground to properly orient the connecting module's left face. The helper module then moves the connecting module to the robot configuration for docking. The second part of the demonstration shows how we reconfigure from a walker configuration to a vehicle with an arm. We first prepare the walker for the execution of the reconfiguration plan. Now that the reconfiguration plan has been executed, we demonstrate that the desired configuration has been achieved by first lifting the arm off the ground and then moving the vehicle configuration with the arm raised. This work was funded by the National Science Foundation.